infamous Joel, and we're back here. This should be lesson three, and we're getting closer and closer for you to, to you having your entire affiliate business already set up here on day one. You're just going through this free training. So the next tool that you need is this thing called an email autoresponder. And trust me, when I first heard that big ass word, I was like, oh my God, like, right? <laughs> it just sounds crazy, but it's very, very simple. Let me explain it to you like this. So people might say, Joel, what if people come through my sales funnel, the one we've already mapped out, the one we've already drawn, we see it right here, we brought it back just for this lesson. And you say, well, what if they don't buy right away? And you're right, most people don't. One to three percent of the people that you send through your sales funnel, this little simple sales funnel we already have set up, will buy the first time they go through it. A lot, most people are not like, like eager to run around the internet buying all day long, right? Most people are just like searching for information. They're kind of just like in the weeds. They're kind of like, mm, let me feel this out a little bit. So it's natural. It's normal. Most people don't buy the first time they go through your funnel. This is why it's very, very important to add another element that we call email marketing. So this is what email marketing is. So say they get to the bridge page, right? Which it looks like this. You probably have this page already if you went ahead and downloaded it and you followed the instructions. So they get to the bridge page, they look over your free stuff, they get your free whatever the hell you're offering here. I'm offering videos, you can offer something else, okay? And they say, eh, I like it, I enjoy it, I got some free stuff, cool, but I'm not looking to buy right now, I'm not going to the order page. Or maybe they went to the order page and they said, mm, I'm not really in the mood to buy anything right now. That's fine, people have their choices. So here's what you do afterwards, right? Remember I said on the opt-in page, they put in their email, their name, their, some, their phone number, something to get this free thing that you ultimately gave them on the next page, which is the bridge page. So now we have contact information because they opted in, right? So now we can continue this relationship, okay? We can send them a series of emails automatically, automatically, okay? We can send them a series of emails automatically in the background this is why affiliate marketing is a passive income business. Why so many people get into it is because while you're sleeping, these automatic messages are being sent out all like forever and ever till the end of time. Not like spammy. Please don't be spammy. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it the right way. And eventually, while people get to know you, like you, trust you, they might see more of your stuff. They open up your emails. You might give out more free stuff in your emails, whatever you choose to do. But the relationship is being built there automatically while you're in your sleep, while you dream away nice dreams about the nice house and the nice car you're going to buy from affiliate marketing. So that's why email marketing is really, really important. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. That's why email marketing is really, really important. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. And once again, somewhere around this video, some button somewhere, I have a free trial. It's another two week trial of a program that I like that I'm also an affiliate for. I think it's the best email autoresponder out there, especially for affiliate marketers because it's low cost. It's very, very powerful and they actually support affiliate marketing. Okay. It's called active campaign. So let me show you how to set up your active campaign account and connect it with your click funnels account. Okay. Cause it's, it's a little bit techie, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is come over to your click funnels account right now. Okay. And you're going to come over here to the top right corner where it says account settings. You're going to click on account settings and it's going to take you to uh, my vid my video. My face might be covering this up. As a matter of fact, let me go fix that right now. Uh, let me just put only the screen. I hope that works. Yep. It's still recording. Let me put only the screen. Now, hopefully you can only see the screen here, right? So, you're going to come over here to where it says account settings. You're going to click on account settings. Now, hopefully my big head is not blocking the way and you can see that, right? You got account settings. It looks like this and you're going to scroll down to where it says integrations because that's what this fancy word basically means stuff that's connected to click funnels. Okay, so we're going to click on integrations. You probably don't have any of this stuff. It's probably empty. You can click add new integration. Okay, and as you can see, boom. Active campaign is the first thing we can select. So we select active campaign. Uh, you can give it a nickname. You can, I call mine active campaign. Doesn't matter what you call it. Okay. 
Now that we have our free trial, our 14 day free trial of active campaign, this is something we need. When it says API key and API URL, it sounds like super techie, high, you know, <laughs> highly technical mumbo jumbo, right? It sounds really confusing. I'm gonna clear it up for you right now. It's very simple. All we do is we go over to our active campaign account, which looks like this, okay? And we're gonna scroll down to on the left side here where it says settings at the bottom. We're gonna click on settings and this whole giant menu shows up. What we're interested in, what we need is this developer. It says developer here on the side in settings. So we click on developer and boom, what do we see here? API access. All this fancy mumbo jumbo jargon code and all this weird stuff means is this is the code and the letters and the numbers and the figures and the facts and this crazy stuff that tells active campaign and click funnels to communicate with each other. That's all this is. So right here where it says URL, we're just going to highlight this. We're going to right click. We're going to copy, go back to our click funnels account. That's our URL, right? So we just paste it in there. Boom. Same thing for the API key, which should be here. API key, copy. We're going to paste our copy, our, our API key, I'm sorry. We're going to paste our API key, all these crazy letters and numbers and stuff, and we're just going to click add integration. For me, it probably won't do a lot. Well, it went ahead and did it. I don't know, that's weird. But <laughs> I can probably go ahead and delete that because I already have this whole thing integrated. But you get the idea. What What is this? Are you sure? You're, yes, I do want to. Okay. So I already have it here. So it would have been stupid to just have two of them. But you get it. Okay. So yours should be integrated now. It should show up here that it's connected. And that's a good thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our funnel. Okay. We're going to go back to the funnel that you've downloaded. The funnel that um, I showed you to get. It should be this one. Okay. And this first page, this opt-in page that we already discussed and they put in their information, et cetera, et cetera. It might look different than it looks here because I'm still kind of building it as I'm training you. So it, it'll look something like this, right? And it's going to be a pop-up. So we come up here to where it says show pop-up. This is what the pop-up looks like. So when your customers come through this funnel, right, they're going to see this pop-up after they click the button to get their free thing, whatever it may be. And they're going to put their first name and their email address, right? So we want to connect this. We want to connect this. We're going to come up here to integrations again in settings. Okay, let's remove it for now just so I can walk you through it. So there's no integration right now, but let's say there is now. Let's, let's put one, an integration in there. What integration are we going to put? We're going to scroll down to active campaign. You probably have only one. Okay, active campaign, the action. What action? do we want to put in here let me explain something real quick before we do all that when you're an active campaign there are these things called lists and i scrolled down to the bottom there on the left and i went to lists because you have to be able to group your customers together on specific lists okay you can't just like send customers willy-nilly anywhere so in active campaign you can create lists so all we do here is we go to list we go to add list and you can call it whatever you want just fill this information in. Don't worry about it. I put whatever URL, whatever description. I don't, I'm honestly, I don't even know why they ask these things, but give your list a name just so you can keep track of them. It might be um, affiliate marketing crowd or something like whatever you want to call it. It's for your own sake. Now, when you come back here to when you're here at ClickFunnels and you go to action, you're going to go to add to list, right? You're going to go to add to list. And the list to add, it should be here. If everything's integrated, your list should pop up. And whatever you called that list, it's going to be right here. And you just select it. Let's say total affiliate domination. I don't know. Whatever, right? So it's going to add them to that list. Whenever somebody comes in here, puts their email and their name and all that stuff, it's going to add them to that list inside of your active campaign account, your email autoresponder. Now, this is when it gets really easy because i've done all the hard work for you okay so all this is done they put in their email their name you now have them on your active campaign account and you might be saying okay well how do i set up this automation stuff because this stuff sounds like super techie and crazy and i'm scared please help me joel oh my god i'm scared i'm shaking right 
don't worry, I got you. What I did was I went ahead and I created an automation for you. Once again, the reason that I like active campaign is because just like click funnels, somebody else can create, um, create the techie stuff for you, the software for you, well, you know, all that stuff for you. And all you have to do is click the little link or whatever. And, and, uh, you know, and you can drop it into your account. So I'm going to have a link somewhere around this video. Again, it's either going to be a button or a link or both. And basically you're going to come over here to create an automation. You're going to click create an automation. It's going to ask you import an automation. Don't click any of this other stuff. Import an automation right here at the top. You're going to click import an automation. It's going to ask you for automation URL. So you're just going to paste whatever URL that I give you. You're going to paste it in here. Okay, you're going to paste it right here and it's going to drop in this exact automation. I call it free automation. You're going to have this for free already done for you. Let's click on it. Let me walk you through what it actually is. This is called a soap opera sequence. So where it says contact subscribes to any list, I would change this if I was you instead of any list, just in case later in the future you have a crap ton of lists. I would change this to whatever list you have for that opt in page, right? I hope this is not sounding too jargon and technical. <laughs> like if, you, if you've been following along here, hopefully you're starting to understand some of this lingo. So once someone subscribes to that list, meaning that they put in their email on, on this page right here, they put in their email, they started going through your automations and stuff. They're going to start getting emails, right? Every day, you're going to start sending them emails, but you're, you are not going to manually be doing it. This what you're seeing right here is an automation. So I've already done it for you. And all you have to do, and this is what yours should look like, because I'm dropping this into your account. All you have to do is go through these and follow the instructions. Let me show you what this one might look like. So this is email number one. After they opt in and you, you build that relationship right away, I have the first email here. Everything in red is uh the instructions okay so you can delete that afterwards you can come in here and edit it okay you can come in here and edit it now everything you see in bold obviously replace it hey this is your name put your delete this and put your name here and i want to officially welcome you to my world you can edit this however you want this is just like a starter thing you know you you can like make it your own you have your own brand your own identity you're not the infamous joel you're somebody else right how you got started basically start telling them, Hey, um, I'm, I'm an affiliate for dating products or, but when I was struggling in dating, blah, 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 blah. This is how I got started. Um, when I was struggling in my health and wellness and fitness or whatever, cause you can be an affiliate for anything. Okay. It's about you and your expertise and what you, when I first got started, uh, fixing cars, when I first got started being a, a coffee junkie, when I first got started in video games, whatever your story is, put it right here, delete this and put it right here. Your website name is where I share what I've learned. Okay. Website name. You can replace this with your YouTube channel, your Instagram, your, your, whatever, whatever your platform is, your mechanism for getting your message out to the world. Just put your link here and direct them back to your stuff. Okay. And you can see all the way throughout. It's all written for you. You can go through here. You can make changes if you want. But what this is, what I'm giving you here is called a, a soap opera sequence. Okay. Fancy word to basically just, oh, not reports. I clicked the wrong thing. Fancy term that basically just means it's your story. Okay. It's your story. I'm going to show you an example here. Email number two, you're starting to dive a little bit deeper into who you are and what happened. Describe the low points of your experiences before you change directions. This is where you start to kind of um, sell your product without actually selling your product. Cause instead you're just telling your story. Remember affiliate marketing as an affiliate, all you're really doing to sell the, the company's thing is saying it, it's basically like a testimonial. You've seen those commercials with like fitness and weight loss and people talk, talk about their before and after stories, right? Like I used to be really fat, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's basically all you're doing as an affiliate. You're warming up your audience. You're telling them, Hey, I used to be like you. Let me tell you my story. You're plugging all these words in here, everything you see in brackets and bold, you know, fill in your own story. What happened? The result, the circumstances, same thing for each one of them. Okay. If you can follow these directions, you already have 
and automation setup. Same thing again all the way through hey this is what i discovered this is the product that i use to get myself where i'm at you know you can call each email whatever you want and then you just make sure you click up here at the right at the right top where it says inactive active it's going to be automatically set to inactive just click active so that it's it's all connected it's active it's running in the background and that way again now that everything's connected you have your automation you have everything in case they don't buy the first time that they run into you and they, they see all this stuff, guess what? You have an email automation sequence in the background that they're going to start getting emails and they're going to start reading your story. They're going to start getting to know you more. They're going to start getting to understand why the product is so great and why it can help them, blah, blah, blah. And then most, most people make their buying decision at that point, not in the first, the first time they go through your sales funnel. Most purchases are made on the follow-up afterwards. That's why this is so important. And that's why I've already done the hard work for you. You can just download this automation. It's called the soap opera sequence. It's old. It's as old as time. It's, it's proven. It's made people millions of dollars. Okay. And you just plug in your own story for the product that you're promoting. It works like gangbusters. I'm telling you, it's, it, it's, it's great. So, Okay. And that's why I'm telling you active campaign is great because, uh, I don't know too many other email automation softwares and systems where you can share automations. I think that's a big help because I'm not great at writing emails. I like to have like hire people and tell people to do it and, and they can just create an automation and share it with me and I can just download it into my account. Like it's so much easier. So anyway, um, that is pretty much it for the email automation. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Just make sure you plug your affiliate links into your emails and stuff like that. I put in there where exactly to plug them in and that'll be it for this lesson. I am the infamous Joel and I'm out.